All right, we have our timer on, five minutes. And can you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Lee Mollison. I am a wellness teacher at the, at the high school. Excellent, excellent. And you have freshmen this year, right? Yes, we have mostly freshmen in wellness. Okay, so right, wellness is like what they take as a freshman, essentially. Right? Uh, yeah, it's kind of moved that way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, later. and what's, what's something you like about that class? What do I like about that class? Um, it's the stuff you're going to use every day for the rest of your life. That's that's the the thing that's probably the most important. And stuff I use every day in my life. Um, that's what I like about it the most. Um, as you age and as you get away from school, as you know, your health becomes a bigger priority and more and more, and you start to think about it, and it becomes an enormous priority in life. The thing about it is, I have I see students working at the grocery store or whatever long after I have them, and they always tell me some anecdote about their life and their health and this and that. And it's always that's a nice thing to hear. Oh, I think that's really true. And I was speaking with, uh, with uh, some other wellness teachers and, you know, I feel like financial literacy and wellness are probably your most important classes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we don't mandate financial literacy, but I think that would be a good one to mandate. It's funny you mention that, Norm, because that's one of the things in our dimensions of wellness. Um, you can have six dimensions or eight dimensions. And I like the eight dimension model because it includes, uh, financial wellness and, yeah. I, and I tell the kids every year I said if there's one course that I could also recommend other than mine <laughs> I think yeah. it's really important it's it's handling your finances because you use it for the rest of your life I with myself I'm always looking at finances I got a huge binder right next to me full of financial stuff with everything that goes on in my family's life as you know and it's uh those two things are the two you're going to use for sure without a doubt exactly and there's a there's if you know just a kind of basic outlay, it's the it's really huge returns in terms yeah. of like not getting caught up uh, in the wrong habits, but also um, bad loans and all these things. Uh, yeah. It's they should mandate it across the country, uh, honestly, yeah. as a kind of mandated course. Um, what do you like about teaching freshmen? Um, I like the energy is great. Um, that's what I like about teaching wellness uh, in in uh, for to freshmen in particular. Uh, I like to catch them at kind of a really crucial age with wellness. There's so many things uh, with the brain and with the body that um, start to change in adolescence, early adolescence, right around that 15 years of age mark. So that's like a huge tipping point in everybody. So we get to catch them right then and there. Um, it's actually really good timing in human development uh, for someone to start thinking about this. And there's a huge jump in maturity. Um, that I've noticed, you know, I've been at the middle school for a long time. This, this year I'll be completely full-time at the high school. Um, but transitioning, being a teacher at the middle school and at the high school, I see the difference in the maturity level in day between oh, eighth yeah. grade. And There's something that happens over that summer that's amazing. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> and I think that's, I think that's a really good point though, too, is that like, that's the right, that's the exact right age for them to take that course. Yeah. You know, freshman in high school. And I think financial literacy, probably senior year, is probably would be ideal. Um, yeah, junior, senior year. Once you start yeah, junior, driving. Senior. Yeah, yeah, once you, you start, start driving. <laughs> you yeah. start getting the, the finances uh, kind of figured out there. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, yeah. What were you like as a freshman? What was I like as a freshman? I looked pretty much the same. I had more hair through here. but Okay. I wish question was coming because i've saved all all my like ids <laughs> through my oh, life. That's <laughs> so I have, like, this chronological thing of ids um i was small skinny uh very uh, ignorant to the ways of the world um uh, i grew up in a really small town i didn't vacation a lot as a kid my, my family was kind of poor um so freshman and my school was different it was seven through 12 so freshman year is kind of like just another year thrown in the mix yep. but um yeah, I had a lot to learn as a freshman, and I wish mm -hmm. I could go back now with a little more experience and relive it. But um, yeah, I was a pretty good kid, though. I didn't, I stayed out of trouble. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned you're small because you're you're probably six one right now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm about six one, two hundred pounds now. Yeah. yeah, and you see that? I see kids come into high school. I'm like, oh my god! But you know, <laughs> the kids grow; they really grow in those years, and it's so, you know, emotionally, mentally, and physically, they grow. Absolutely. I think outside of zero to four these four years are the biggest growth that the kids have. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. It's not yeah, yeah. In terms of brain development, in terms of just the sheer amount of connections created and then also pruned away, this is, a, this is the time second to infancy that uh, uh, your brain will change the most. Yeah, that's right. Well, look guys, if you're lucky enough to have Mr. Mollison, he'll be waiting for you in a couple of weeks.
Yeah. Awesome. Uh, good luck to everybody. And I hope you have a great new school year. Awesome.